Hi, I'm Peter. And I'm Denise. And we are trying our second of the Weight Watchers recipes for the week. And uh, this time we're trying Cat Cora's Grilled Sweet Corn. Sorry, street corn. It might be sweet too, but it says street corn. Um, we've got some non -plain, plain yogurt. I'm going to show you the ingredients. Um, our lovely assistant Jessica, who's videotaping, is going to bring it, bring it forward and come on over here. We have our Greek yogurt. Um, it's looking for lime juice. There is um, one and a half tablespoons. We've got salt uh, at one, a quarter teaspoon. Uh, black pepper, also a quarter teaspoon. We've got the, the ears of corn. I've done two for now um, because I'm going to talk about the corn in a second. Um, we're going to do two corns for now. I picked up these um, great bamboo skewers from the dollar store for $1.50. They're super sturdy. And once I inserted them in here, I broke off um, the piece that was not needed. So I'm hoping that's going to work. Um, we've got some chili powder here and um, some cilantro chopped up. Um, and we will see how it goes and here is the recipe and uh, I'm gonna mix all this up and then we'll be back um, And to tell you how it worked out uh, One of the things I want to note is that we currently don't have a barbecue. So grilling this we're going to be using our George Foreman grill um, But I recently was told a really nifty way to make corn um, Apparently you take the corn on the cob with the cob in it and you put it in the microwave for three minutes so I'm actually going to try to do that with two of the corns and make it in the microwave. Uh, when you put more than one in, you increase, increase the time to about five to six minutes, and I'm going to try that out. We'll be back shortly. Thank you. Here we are with the, um, the Greek yogurt, and it says here to mix together the yogurt and the lime juice, and we're going we're to do that here. Lime juice, um, pepper, and salt to taste. There's the pepper. Here's the salt. And we're going to mix this up and set it aside. I know I'm gonna like it because I like all kinds of new things. I know Peter's probably gonna turn up his nose, but we'll see, we'll see how he does. I'm uh, wondering if any of you have seen the, um, the previous video that we did um, entitled How to Torture Your Husband on a 14-Day Disney Cruise. Peter tried all kinds of interesting meals there. Um, and he's definitely not an adventurous eater. All right, we're going to set this aside for a few minutes and we're going to start grilling the corn. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, so here we are. We've been trying to roast our corn on the George Foreman grill. It's it's slow and I, I don't know, I'm not a big fan. Um, we'll eat them, but I don't know how cooked through they are. Um, I think this is more of a fail for us. Um, I'm sure if you had a real barbecue, this would be fine. But since we don't have one right now, we left it when we left our house and came here. So this is the, um, the uh, corn out of the um, microwave. And I'm gonna use this because you just cut off the edges and cut this off as well. And then you should just, in theory, that is hot, be able to lift it out and it is steaming and hot. Just put this over here. And then we've got this one here. So I did two, I put it in for six minutes um, and they look pretty hot. And I think what we'll do is we'll try the Weight Watchers recipe with, with um, these guys and we can try it with those ones as well. All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right, here we are, and we're putting the um, Greek yogurt on. Um, it says to do that first. Okay. It's messy. I'm not sure that my teenage kids will have this. They're picky. Um, they take after their dad. So we're just going to, this is zero points, which is great. Um, we had to spray a little bit of Pam onto the grill there. Uh, let's see. I probably could do this uh, and make it look a lot nicer, but in the interest of time, I'm just going to. All right. Now, I say to season it with the chili powder. I bet you it'll give it a nice little kick. some left over for the other side. A little bit of the salt and the cilantro. 
It does look very pretty. Are you looking forward to trying this, Peter? I certainly am. I'm hungry. All right. And with this, we're having baked potatoes and steak. So we'll be back in a minute for Peter to do the taste test. All right. Here we are with the taste test. Peter looking gets to be the... Uh, the guinea pig. The guinea pig. There you go. Looking forward to it. Now, I do like corn. Last time I said I wasn't a big fan of vegetables, but corn is one thing that I do like. Do I eat this with my fingers or how do I eat this? Uh, did you want me to get you the, the little no, I mean, handle things? No, or? I, mean, I guess I just bite into it, right? I, I think that's sort of how corn on the corn cob usually done, yeah. works. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So let's see. Here we go. Well, you're making a mess. You've got it all over your face. Well, well. That's good. Is it spicy? It's good. No. It's got a it's got a flavor to it, but I wouldn't call it spicy. The cilantro really comes through. I love cilantro. I like minimal cilantro on things usually, but this is good. Yeah. Is it a good alternative to butter and and salt and like you know what I mean? Mm. Like typical um, corn on the cob with butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a make again. Yeah, this is a make again. Yeah. yeah. I like this. Okay. Yeah. So next, I guess the chef will try it. Yes, I can't get away without having to try it too, huh? All right. It's the messy thing that I'm not a big fan of. Just not very ladylike. Hmm? Oh, it is good. It's kind of got that bit of um, a sour taste to it from the, like from the Greek yogurt, and then you get the sweet of the of the corn, which is actually really good. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, good job. Oh, thank you for uh, coming along with us and. We'll hopefully see you next week. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye.